last week's Senate agenda appeared to be business as usual, but this week's meeting was anything but normal. After making anti-LGBTQ plus statements last week, ASUC Senator Isabella Chow met with backlash. It was standing room only in the Senate chambers. Supporters of Chow and a vast majority of protesters spoke. ASUC tells us that over 100 public comments were made in the span of three hours. Then maybe the senator who is sitting here right now too can as well. Right. We should not be the only ones demanding for your peer who has said these things going against the ASUC constitution. I am ashamed of y'all sitting here who have not denounced her. A petition circulated prior to the meeting calling for Chow to resign. Other calls included the possibility of a recall, as well as urging the ASUC to revoke sponsorship from the InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, who actively supported Chow. Undergrad, grad students, and even alumni took to the podium. Tonight is not about bullying Senator Chow, but making our campus and wider community understand the impacts of invalidating and demeaning rhetoric. Tonight is not about free speech, but about the separation of prejudice and personal beliefs with institutional policy. Tonight is not about dismissing the Christian, Christianity as universally toxic, but about validating the experience of those at the hands of bigots who have cowardly hid behind religion to justify their actions. Supporters of Chow also spoke at the beginning of the meeting and left midway. A huge banner draped over the back of the chambers read, Senator Chow, resign now. Would you all not agree that conservatives and Christians on campus are not marginalized groups? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is to stand in solidarity with us? Get the representative. Please quiet down. Their time is limited. Who is to stand in solidarity with us if the representatives that we choose to represent us are purged from their party and threatened with expulsion and recall vote the moment they decide to abstain on a Senate resolution that they, they, that they do not agree with? Other speakers also questioned what student action, who disaffiliated from Chow, will do to address the matter further. Former ASUC presidential candidate Gia Cordova. And somehow I still believe we can change from inside. Uh, I don't know what happens after tonight, but I really hope that you go home and you pray um, for forgiveness. I hope you ask for forgiveness from us as well. And I hope that we learn from here on out that we can't be fucked around because I'm done. And I won't die. I won't be killed. Um, I'm down to fight. Senator Chow declined to comment after the meeting. Laylee Ipsa for Cal TV News.